So just whatever you want to do, whatever colour you want to do. Hello, I'm Jeanette, Community Coordinator. So today on Craft on Camera for MHA Digital Communities, we are doing some painted tea light holders. So to start with, I am going to just do some swirls and things. So we'll get a bit of paper. You can use an old plate or dish to put your paints out. So you're not making too much of a mess. And obviously just get your colors ready with whatever color you wish to use. Your original brush that you want to work with. And let's say, just generally, let's get swirling. So that's it. You will have to obviously let it dry before you start making too much of a mess. So just whatever you want to do, whatever colour you want to do. I have done some before where I've done left the lids on and used them as like sweetie jars. So I've done some before. You can actually use um, stickers rather than paint. So if you're a bit unsure and a bit feeling that you don't, don't want to be painting, we have used stickers and decorated them up. We've done it where you've got, um, you can buy strings of lights um, that you just put in and leave them. So if you are using candles, remember to be safe. Don't leave them unattended um, for whatever reason. Let's see, it's just generally, just whatever you want to do, whatever design you want to do, whatever colors you want to do. So, and also, you don't actually have to do jars, you can do boxes, you know, if you can get box, if you've got spare boxes, um, plates, you know, a lot of craft shops do um, plaster of Paris items as well. So, okay. Leave that one there, give you a different aspect. If you are actually into painting and so it's very relaxing, it's quite easy to do, cheap as well. Um, let's say if you don't like painting, you can do sticking, which is good for just a little bit of movement in your hands getting you using your joints, your fingers, without actually being too strenuous. Just keeping the brain matter working as well. Um, you can plant them up if you want to go a little bit green. If you put um, strings around the tops, you can use them as hangers, like I say, outside. You could always get the uh, LED lights, string lights, that are quite cheap to purchase as well and have them in the garden, hang them on the trees. Uh, we've adapted things for the bird feeders. So if you do bird feeders, you can actually decorate them as well. So, 101 uses for a glass jar. All good fun. And let's say, just carry on decorating till you feel that you've achieved what you want to achieve. So that's it. Done not too bad actually. I thought I might make a smudge, but just letting each bit dry in between so you don't actually smudge. So if you actually do use them outside, you can actually get um, some citronella candles to put inside which will help 
it's keep the insects, the flies and things away while you are in the garden, possibly having a barbecue. So, all encouraging. So just, that's it. You can do flowers, you can do patter swirls, we've got butterfly, anything that you feel that you are capable and you can't go wrong because artwork is never wrong. It's how you want to do it. So once you've finished decorating, you get a bit of string and wrap it round your jar. Give it an handle that will attach over. Get a tea light, place it in the bottom and hopefully. So there you go, tea light holder, all decorated, candles burning. So hope you've enjoyed this craft session and hope to see you soon. Bye for now.